The amount of Instagram DMs that I have received to do a video on this has been literally insane. This has to be my highly requested video yet and it's really sad because I actually used to follow this dude and he was a person that I least expected to have done these things, which is just, in hindsight, is really weird to think about. TikToker Joe Robe, real name John Robert Bell, has recently been exposed for grooming underage boys. Boys. Yet again, this was somebody that I think we all expected to have not been this kind of person. But that saying is so true, you know, you never really know who you are watching on the internet. And parasocial relationships are obviously very prevalent here on the internet as well. So we watch some people, we start idolizing them, we start loving them, almost feeling like we're in some weird kind of friendship with them. Dill G16, Dylan, is a TikToker who was recently recently took to TikTok with his story on John. Dylan explains that he became friends with John when Dylan was not of age. Dylan and some of his friends would group FaceTime with John almost every single night, which then eventually caused John to want to meet up with Dylan and suggested that they even get an Airbnb. John wanted to get an Airbnb with Dylan because Dylan was turning 18, kind of like an 18th birthday party sort of thing. So at this point, sirens are going off. The original plan was for him, John, and some other friends to go to the Airbnb. That, however, is not what John had in mind. John wanted to get a one-bedroom Airbnb so that him and Dylan would be alone together. John even offered to buy alcohol for Dylan as well. And if you're wondering, no, Dylan did not go on this trip because he has some great friends, obviously, surrounding him. This video will be about one of the biggest hypocrites I have ever met in my life, Joe Robe. Here's a picture of him if you don't know him by his name. John first followed me whenever I had about 30,000 followers and joined my live stream and asked for my Snapchat, so I gave it to him. After Snapchatting for a few weeks, I invited him to a Zoom call with me and my other TikTok friends, which we did daily. After about a week of John joining the Zooms, he asked me if I wanted to get an Airbnb with him on my 18th birthday, which was over three months away. At the time, I thought it was a good idea, and initially, it was supposed to be with other people. This is him asking me who we should invite. After a few more days, I realized those were not his true intentions. He started to send me links to one bedroom Airbnbs and he offered to purchase me alcohol if I went. And this is him talking about the one bedroom and I was like, could we find one for like two? That would be better. As you can see, he immediately changed the subject. A little over a week goes by and then I decide to invite one of my IRL friends to the Zoom and this is what John sent me. He knew that I did not want to get the Airbnb, so he thought if he invited one of my IRL friends, I would want to go. That's him asking when he was going to turn 18. He continued to ask me about the Airbnb for months until he just finally stopped. During one of the Zooms with all of my TikTok friends, John thought it would be a good idea to have us all take a BDSM score test and send him our results so he could see our kinks. Keep in mind, the youngest was 15 years old and the oldest were 19 and there were only two 19 year olds and everybody else was 17 and below. There were 12 of us. A few months later in the Zooms, my friends would go into separate FaceTime calls and it felt like me and John were always left out and he tried to convince me that they were talking about me and that they weren't my real friends and that he was my only real friend. It worked and I believed him. A few days later, I got a FaceTime call from all of my friends and I answered and in those FaceTime calls during the Zooms, they were talking about how John was grooming me and whenever they confronted me with this, I was very defensive. A few hours later, I called back and talked to them and I finally realized that John was grooming me. I decided to cut John off and not confront him about anything. I didn't say anything for the past eight months because I thought I was the only one until recently. I found out that there are multiple people that John has groomed. John does not deserve to have any type of platform because if he does, he will continue this behavior and will not stop preying on teenagers. He's a disgusting and terrible person. Here's where it comes to a part where we should have known, but again, Let's just talk about it. It's actually quite telling that in October of last year, John's friend, Calvin Brandall, who was also a TikToker and also a male feminist on the platform, was lecturing men about not sexually assaulting women. I mean, rightfully so. Nobody should be fucking sexually assaulting anybody, period. You don't need to tell somebody that. You don't even need to preach about it either. It just, it's common fucking sense. Anyways, this Calvin dude got caught 
sexually assaulting a woman in her sleep. Not only did John not come forward with his, you know, do better videos, but he completely avoided talking about the situation, he still even had a photo up with him and Calvin on his social media. Now, if a friend of mine was to be outed as a rapist, somebody that assaults people, you're fucking gone. No questions asked, I don't give a shit about you, you're, you're scum of the earth basically. So for John to take that stance while preaching on social media that don't say assault women, don't do this, don't do that. And even had women on the app being like, the only person that I trust my drink with is Joe Robe. <sighs> I mean, it, it makes perfect sense now, but this is a very uncomfortable situation for everybody involved, including Dylan. I already did comment my support on Dylan's video, but I just want to say this here right now, that I fully stand with Dylan, I believe Dylan, and I am so, so sorry that this had happened to him. I mean, it's really scary of how far it could have gone if Dylan didn't have the right people around him to be like, hey, I think this guy is trying to groom you. It, it always just sickens me to think of how far something could have gone if there was no stop put to it sooner. This situation, it, it is so disappointing. It's so disappointing and disgusting. And all my love and support goes out to the victims. So. With that said, um, that is the end of today's video. If there are any more updates or anything else on this situation, trust I will be doing another video on this because as much awareness needs to be spread as possible. Not only that, but it's also really telling that John has deleted all forms of his social media. Everything, it's, it's all gone. Now, if somebody isn't guilty of those things, they're not gonna run away from it. So that's all I have to say. Thank you for watching and once again, all my love and support goes out to the victims. You've got me and I love you.